As a straight guy, what's the gayest thing you've done? Also doubles as the dumbest thing I've ever done. When I was like seven, I was wrestling with a guy at school and my head got buried between the dude's crotch. I took the opportunity and bit. He was in a lot of pain and confirmed I did just bite the cherry. I went home and asked my parents if I'd get pregnant. Two guys were talking to each other, and I walked past them and said, look at you cuties, and kept going, don't know why I did it to this day. I had a sleepover at my friend's house when I was 13, and we laid out some blankets and fell asleep in his living room. I woke up first to him spooning me, and I didn't move at all because I wanted to avoid any awkward moment in our friendship by having us both know of that cuddle moment so I laid there as still as I could for maybe 30 minutes until he woke up and quickly but carefully got off of me. I then got up 10 minutes later. And that moment now doesn't exist in our friendship. My best friend and I were maybe freshmen, sophomore in high school. We would frequently fall asleep in the same bed when I came over playing Xbox or watching movies. One night I woke up to his head on my chest and he woke up from me laughing. He just said sorry and passed the fuck out again on his pillow. He probably doesn't remember, but I still think it was funny. In college, I smoked some weed with my neighbor in the dorm. I got so high that I had a panic attack, and to calm me down, he basically had to cuddle with me and then put on Animal Planet. He was a good guy. I was convinced that the weed was laced. It wasn't. He told me it was all in my head and that when he would get too high, he'd watch Animal Planet. We put it on and no shit watching animals on the TV when you're stoned is the most peaceful thing ever. I was out like a light shortly after. I once wrote a long romantic text for a girl who I slept with the night before. Romantic mind you rather than sexy. Then I accidentally texted it to a buddy. The text had no context specific to her, not even the sex of the recipient. I didn't notice until the next day at which point I had to explain it to him. I wish I still had it. She's now my wife. I once meant to send, I really want to fuck you right now to my girlfriend at the time. Accidentally sent it to a friend. He just replied with, you're going to have to buy me dinner first. On deployment in the Marine Corps, I was laying in the desert next to my team leader under a perfect sky. All the stars were out and the air felt like the shade on a hot day. Him and I talked calmly about our families, our dreams, and how perfect the sky looked and how small that made us. Hold my hand, he said. I could feel, without touching, that his arm was extending. Over the course of the following second, I contemplated my whole existence before half-consciously reaching out to him. His hand felt nice and we said nothing. This lasted for maybe 10 minutes until we fell asleep. I was at my friend's house when I was about 12 or 13. My friend pulled out a few playboys and told me I could use them if I wanted, but only if we did it together. I had to sit on one side of the bed, he'd sit on the other. I could have a blanket over myself so he wouldn't see. But we'd still be jacking off less than three feet from each other. This was in the days of dial-up internet. Playboy was still like gold to me. So I said sure. About ten minutes later, and he's already come. And I'm about to come, and his mom walks in on her son watching his best friend furiously masturbating. That was a difficult one to live down. Once, my friend group decided to skinny dip and play truth or dare. The girls wanted to see how far we guys would go, so they kept daring us to do shit like make out, touch each other's bananas, etc. For me personally, I made out with another guy, and one of the guys kissed my banana. I'd say that's pretty far to go for all of us. We're all straight. Oh boy, when I went to basic training, the recruiters told me that it's an adjustment, but after two weeks, you kind of get into a rhythm. Your sleep pattern changes, you're away from your phone, Reddit, and really any contact with the outside world except for a few blocks of time. It's all an adjustment. What they don't tell you is how fucking weird it is to not be touched by another human being for weeks on end. And not even in a sexual way, just any touching in general usually doesn't happen. I'm not shaking hands or high-fiving or hugging anybody, and neither would you. I didn't even notice how much I missed being touched until we paired up and had to rig up our vests for a range day. I needed a little help, so this dude starts adjusting my vest while I'm wearing it. The gay part is that it felt fucking amazing to have another dude touching my back. I'm pretty sure I let out an audible, oh yeah, 
It felt so good that I purposely fucked it up after he was done and had him redo it. The second time I was leaning into it, eyes closed, the whole works. A friend and I needed to shower after shooting hoops because we got told about a party last minute, summer between high school graduation and college. We really wanted to get out there because a ton of people were supposedly going and we wanted to try to get laid. People went crazy in the summer in my hometown. We both needed to shower but didn't want to take time, so we hopped in at the same time and basically turned in a circle, one person in the water the other out, to cut on time. Made things a lot quicker, and we actually both got laid the night we did that. Rare that we both got lucky the same night, so we did it a few more times that summer. Usually at least one of us got action. For reference this was the tiny shower in my parents' house, not a gym locker room shower. I told this story in another about a couple of years ago when I went up to visit my friend in Minneapolis. His apartment was located right across the street from a music festival, so we hung out on his lawn drinking all day and enjoying free live music. Later on that night, we went out for a cigarette and started walking around his neighborhood. What started as a short cigarette walk ended up being a longer excursion as we made our way past the house into some forest area near some train tracks. It was really cool for me being able to see more stars than I was used to seeing back in Chicago and actually being able to walk from the city into nature. We kept hiking and ended up next to a lake. He asked if I wanted to go swimming and I said fuck yeah. So we ended up skinny dipping in the lake. I hadn't been swimming in a long time so it was especially fun for me and it was so awesome to swim at night with a cool view of the city across the lake. It was such a beautiful view in night that we didn't realize we were ruining the intimate moment of another couple. While we were just two naked drunk dudes swimming in the lake by the moonlight, there was a couple on the shore that was trying to have a romantic picnic complete with wine and a blanket. We thought we were alone until I saw them. But it's funny to think how it was to see that from the couple's viewpoint. One minute it's a really romantic night, then out of nowhere, two naked guys run screaming at the water. Anyway. Swimming naked by the moonlight alone with another guy sounds pretty gay even though both of us are straight. Subscribe and like if my content is interesting to you. I post new video every day.